During the 1800s, in England, men generally entertained themselves with betting based on completely legal and unregulated dog fights. It was another way for dog owners to earn money by having their dogs fight. The punters organized fights between breed of dogs, dogs against rats, and did not hesitate to make dogs fight against Bowser bears. The suffering experienced by the dogs was immense. During this same period, one dog, in particular had forged an iron reputation and became the favorite of these fights. The Bulldog. The Bulldog's success in the pit, made most farmers want to own it. Despite the fact that the Bulldog was a solid, strong and powerful dog, it had low stamina and did not run fast. These Bulldog weaknesses were quickly felt in the guard and protection of cattle from wolves. Wreaked havoc on farms. Several local dog breeds were terriers and demonstrated exceptional jumping and speed skill during this time. The farmers had the idea through the crossbreed between the Bulldog and the Terrier to combine the strength, power and combativeness of the Bulldog with speed and agility of Terrier dogs. These ideas and these dogs migrated with humans in America during colonization. This is how, the American Pit Bull Terrier, was born. The Pit Bull is a small dog with a very muscular body. This gives it a low center of gravity and an extraordinary weight to force ratio. It shows, incredible agility. This large musculature and this agility makes the pit bull, a real athlete, able to perform very amazing jumps. It is a dog with a lot of stamina and has good acceleration and speed. It has a great biting force of up to 305 psi. Unfortunately for it. These many qualities made the pit bull quickly very successful in dogfights and bull baiting. The farmers had reached their goal and understood that the breed crossing had a lot of potential, from this concept. Other dogs have emerged such as, the American Staffordshire Terrier, the Bull Terrier and more. We cannot say precisely which terrier dog was chosen to create these dogs because a lot of crossbreeding has been done and nothing has been archived. The farmers wanted it to be only the strongest, the dogfight winner chosen for breeding, in order to have the best possible result. The best warrior. However, one story says a legendary dog, now extinct, was chosen and made what the pit bull is today. The Blue Paul Terrier. The Blue Paul Terrier was described as a rare dog from Scotland. It was a medium-sized terrier dog and had a rare color, dark blue. Farmers describe this dog as having a unique look given to the Blue Paul Terrier, a facial expression never seen on a dog. It was also used in arenas for fighting. The men described great aggressiveness, impressive tenacity, a dog that never gave up. If it was in difficulty injured, it continued to fight, even to death. This is probably why this dog went extinct. The pit bull has this ability to be extremely tenacious and resilient, anyone who has owned a pit bull, knows what I'm talking about. When the pit bull, sides to attack and by it becomes very aggressive and is very difficult to stop it. It's showing unbelievable tenacity. Is it the fact that the pit bull is the descendant of a line of fighting dogs that gave it this temper, or is it the legacy of the blue paw terrier? Is this resilience and tenacity? That unfortunately made the pit bull so popular in dogfights and bull baiting. Many men wanted to appropriate the blue Paul Terrier to use it in crossbreeding, but this dog was become extremely rare until the extinction of this breed in the madness of dogfighting. After the disappearance of this breed, the first pit bull owner said that the blue Paul Terrier continues to live inside the pit bull. Decades later, when dogfighting were finally banned in England, as in the United States. By its great versatility, the pit bull continued to be used by farmers for the protection of their farm. Contrary to the bulldog, whose this breed almost became extinct. The pit bull was very loved in America. Very appreciated. It has been photographed. A lot as an excellent family, dog. During World War I. An American pit bull terrier became a legend, Sergeant Stubby. The first dog in history to be decorated and promoted in the rank of sergeant. It took part in 17 battles, Stubby was used to convey messages during battles, whatever it is asked to accomplish, whatever the obstacles and difficulties. 
The pit bull always gives the best of itself and excels in its work. This proves to us on the one hand, great loyalty. And on the other hand, great versatility and performance. In the 1990s, human madness was overdone in the fashion for clandestine dogfighting was born in America, in Europe, especially in England, and this fashion is repenting all over the world. With its qualities as a fighter, and its temperament as a warrior, the pit bull is once again in among all the dogs existing today. The one that has the most success and the most used in these fights. Many pit bulls train only to be aggressive and for fighting are in contact with other dogs and people in public places. Accidents, all over the world are recorded and are increasing. A firm regulation against the pit bull is born. It is classified as a dangerous dog in many countries and is killed in the slightest accident. Its popularity, plummeted and it suffered harassment, lot of hatred towards the pit bull. Even today, people accuse the pit bull of being a stupid dog, unstable, dangerous, uncontrollable, but exactly the same happened with the English bulldog of yesteryear. When dog fighting was banned, farmers got rid of bulldogs who had become aggressive, dangerous and useless. The breed was near extinction. These are Bulldog fans who have done everything to save this for you and are successful. Yet today, the English Bulldog has become one of the icons of a pet. Does history repeat itself for the pit bull, in view of history? In these facts who should be accused of dangerous, the man and his money? Where the pit bull is its loyalty? It was the American Pit Bull Terrier, a dog victim of its success. Thanks for watching. I remind you that all the videos chosen and used were selected for educational purposes only. My goal in this video is to tell and show some truthful things about the pit bull, its history. What it is currently suffering from. Do not hesitate to give me your opinion in the comments area. Do not forget to subscribe. So as not to miss the next videos, peace.